Hey guys, Jose here with the Chester Pot Company. And today is part one of a two part series in which we will be pulling water out of the LA River, sending it to national testing laboratories to find out exactly what contaminants are in the water. Part two will be if our Linus high efficiency RO system will remove the contaminants and make drinkable water. We're here at the LA River, and basically what, our, what we're trying to accomplish today is pull water out of the river, get it lab tested, find out what actually is in the water, collect five gallons of sample water, and run it through our Linus AG, and let's see what happens. Now that we've got our water from the LA River, I've got a flow gel pump that we're gonna pump the water from this bottle that we collected into our Linus High Efficiency RO. And let's see what happens. So as you can see, we're making clean water now. Let's see what our PPM reading is. Fifty-nine. Not bad. And that's from that water. And to prove that we believe in our product, we're going to take a sip of this water. Hello again, Sean Chester Paul. This is water that we took from the LA River, ran through our high efficiency RO. And I'm about to drink it. <laughs> Haven't even tested it yet. That's how uh, confident we are. We will produce lab results once done. Cheers. Oh, toast. Now John Herkins is going to drink some. We got it done. How's it taste? Pretty good. Tastes good. Bottle water. Now that we've collected our sample of LA River water, and we also collected our sample of the LA River ran through our Linus High Efficiency RO, we are going to send them to National Testing Laboratories to see if the Linus High Efficiency RO actually made drinkable water. Stay tuned for test results. Welcome everybody back to Chester Paul HQ. My name is Sean. We've got our results back from the LA River water tests. We tested to the EPA primary and secondary standard, which is what you guys are used to with uh, NSF and everybody else. Anyhow, I uh, wanted to go over these results with you, but first I wanted to talk about the system we used. Uh, we didn't only get great results with very sketchy source water, the LA River. Trust me, that's not uh, God's country like uh, natural spring water. So for this test, we were using the Linus Pro High Efficient RO. So we're running at 75% recovery. Uh, we're, the water temperature was about 58 degrees and we tested at 60 PSI. Some of the uh, fun things we found in the source water in the lovely LA River was uh, we found bacteria. We found, uh, especially we found a lot of uh, coliform. And uh, we also found a lot of heavy metals, multiple from iron, trace lead, but uh, a bunch of different heavy metals. We found nitrates, up to five parts nitrates. Probably if you're familiar with testing with either NSF, WQA, or IATMO, the NC standard, probably the most popular failure in uh, certification testing that there is. I failed. 
but uh, it is a tough uh, contaminant to reduce. We also found uh, about 140 uh, hardness and uh, almost 600 TDS. So now I'm going to go over the results with, uh, with y'all. I drank this water before we had these results after we ran it through the RO, but uh, the results came back and now uh, here they are. Alrighty, we got our results here. And uh, I'm going to tell you, first off, I'm pretty happy with them. I think uh, anybody would be. Anyway, so let's start with bacteria. Not detectable and absent from our product um, sample water. That includes uh, E. coli and colophon, which we had a fair amount of in the source samples, which is very good. Heavy metals, not detectable again. We had trace lead, we had a bunch of iron, we had some other miscellaneous heavy metals, all not detectable. Very good, again. Hardness, not detectable. Started with 140 parts. Um, nitrates, if you've ever, again, tested for nitrates, it's probably one of the toughest to, uh, to pass. And we got non-detectable results. So, again, we started with a uh, level of five down to non-detectable. Great, reduced all the nitrates. So uh, last and not least is TDS, we were somewhere right around just under 600 and we ended up about 30 parts per million. It's all great news, so um, I'm going to have another glass of this water and again just keep in mind that we're running this efficient RL at 75% recovery. Thanks everybody very much for watching and hope you enjoyed it. Uh, you can check out our YouTube channel, it has all sorts of fun videos, uh, as well as uh, installation and filter change, quick tidbits on this uh, High Efficient Pro RO. Uh, and again, thank you. Check out our website, chesterpaul.com. Have a great day.